Hey guys, I am Angela Carson, expat Angela. I put out videos a couple times a week on the best places to eat, drink, play, and stay in Asia. I hope you'll follow my channel. I have wanted to do this video probably for a couple of years. I've reviewed, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 hotels in Asia in the past three, four, five years. And, well, I'm really bad at number. <laughs> Most of the time, the experiences are all good. Some of the time, there's something that really sticks that I remember. Um, so I thought I would share a couple of funny stories with you today, and then also walk you through the most unhygienic or dirty um, spots in a hotel room for you to hopefully avoid or take mind of. While I was brushing my teeth and kind of, you know, looking down into the sink, all of a sudden I saw little antennas pop up from the drain. First and foremost, I want to tell you that where I'm at today, I'm at a, a weekend getaway review. I am in no means doing this at this hotel because there is anything to complain about here. It just happens that I think it's best I do this in a hotel room, and that is why. Number one, the remotes. In my current room, I have two remotes. Yeah, it's very, very difficult to clean a remote control. It's electronic, so basically you don't want anything wet in there. So working with chemicals or products that could essentially derode and derode, erode, erode. The interior of the remotes is a tough call for a hotel. So I get why this is one of the dirtiest spots in the room. Um, some hotels will use a plastic over them. I think that's ridiculous. <laughs> Just try to wash your hands before you go to sleep at night. Most of us use the TV at night before we go to bed, but that is kind of the number one dirty spot in a hotel room. Number two, it's the other keypads in the room. It's your telephone and the safe. In the newer models of safes that have a, kind of more of a, a flat surface, I think it's probably a lot easier for hotels to maintain those to a really high quality standard of hygiene. The older ones that have the touch dial telephone style pad, it is pretty hard. So those are pretty dirty spots in the room as well. Number three for me, and I know that different lists have different items on them, and I don't think I have a good video of, oh, there's one place in Phuket. All right, for me, the third one is those bathtubs that have the jets in them. I never go in there. That is like, because it's impossible for them to clean the jets out fully unless they dismounted them each time. And if anyone has peed, anything else that skin cells just whatever could be in bath water that essentially can be trapped within the jets so the next time it's filled up and the jets are used that is coming right back at you so I would steer clear of those 100% that is just my own thing I know people see those in rooms and think they're fabulous I think they're just disgusting hot water germ baths so yeah that's my thought on that. Number four, again, this is my own. I haven't actually seen these on lists, but I've seen articles about them starting, I don't know, early part of last year. There was a Chinese blogger who talked about how they used the kettle to actually properly clean their underpants. It makes a lot of sense if you think about it. It was used because it was the one spot in the room where she could get really, really hot water and properly clean her underwear. Ever since I heard that, you know, I used to drink tea in my room and uh -uh. I'm never touching a kettle again. If I need tea that bad, I will ask for hot water to be brought up or just a pot of tea to be brought up and served here in the room as a you know nice thing with a bath if I'm not into wine that night but the kettle yeah it's it's a thing especially here in Asia it's it's a thing it's gross number five are lampshade knobs uh, the on off switch on lampshades or the foot press they're 
Again, really tough to clean because it's electrical and they normally have all of those grooves in them. So it'd be really difficult without a, a earbud or something to really dig in there and clean those properly. But if someone's gone to the bathroom and then comes out and turns on a light, you know, just things pass on. I know that light shade on and off switches aren't cleaned every time. There's probably a rotation for it in their schedule, but I would be surprised if it was more than once a month. Number six, and last but not least, is my very favorite and most annoying dirty place in a hotel room. It's the glasses. I've actually been in my room when, you know, working or writing or editing when housekeeping staff has come in and I've said, oh, you know, I'm just gonna hang out here and, and work, you can do your thing. I've seen housekeeping staff actually wash my glass from my room, my wine glass or water glass, right after they've cleaned the bathroom, in the bathroom. It's disgusting. It's really, really gross. I've gotten to the point now where I, I have these three things that I do when I walk into any hotel room at a review now. One of the things is actually hold up the glass. Oh, hey, teams at hotels I'm about to review, if you're watching this, you wanna have your team. Just replace those with very, very hygienically uh, washed glasses from kitchen, please. I've been surprised at the hotels that I've been at and the glasses have been either like mucky. There's been something, some kind of film on them. I can tell that they've been washed in the room um, and not very well. It's, it's been really shocking with some of the brands that I would have assumed would not allow their staff to do that or there'd be some checks and balance system. But that happens all the time, everywhere, in every country I've been in here in Asia. And I, I'm sure it happens in every country around the world. But that is one. I, when I use a glass in my room, I actually wash it quickly in the bathroom myself just with my hand and soap and, and do that because it's, it's pretty shocking. And I've been told, this is by a hotel brand, you would be shocked beyond belief if I told you which it was. Uh, but the latter part of last year I was at a hotel review and the st I happened to be in there when the housekeeping was there, they were dropping something off and I was still with the marketing team and the front office team leader and we were there and, and so I turned to the guy and I said, oh, you know, I, I don't think these were washed and he said, no, we rotate those every two months, we wash them in the room. Every two months. That is the end of my and that is the end of my list. Those are really dirty spots in hotel rooms. If you take wipes with you, you could try doing that, but I'd just wash your hands after. The strangest moment I've had in a hotel review in the past, I don't know, I think it was a, oh, I know when it was. Yeah, it was December 2016. Yeah. It was in Kuala Lumpur. And I actually, in one hotel, I saw a cockroach on my floor and thought, ooh, okay. You know, the, the area where we are, um, I was on a lower floor. I thought maybe there was some issue. Um, I was brushing my teeth that night before I went to bed. And I have a video of it, but I had just taken video to show their team. I don't actually have it in the right format. So you can see I shot it on my mobile phone. While I was brushing my teeth and kind of, you know, looking down into the sink, all of a sudden I saw little antennas pop up from the drain. Oh, that was gross. I actually stepped on one in the night when I woke up to, to use the toilet. I, I didn't turn a light on and I just kind of put, you know, push my legs over the bed and, and step down and it just went crunch. That was really gross. That, okay. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I am not trying to call out any brands. I just have seen a lot in the past couple few years. I know that some of it could be avoided and some of it is just lazy staff. Others, I think it is genuinely difficult to clean certain things all the time. If you disagree or you have some of your favorite dirty spots or just a funny story to share, please pop it down below in the comments. And I wish you a very lovely evening. I have dinner with friends tonight at a Chinese restaurant for some Peking duck. So I will see you kitties later. Bye.